Trinidad and Tobago maintains its position of non-interference and non-intervention in the internal affairs of Venezuela. This from Minister of National Security Stuart Young. In response to the attempted coup being staged by Mr. Juan Guaido in neighboring Venezuela, in a release, Minister Young said the relevant divisions of the National Security Ministry are working together and remain focused on securing our borders. He said it is hoped that the Venezuelan people will resolve their affairs peacefully. Senior government officials in Venezuela have rejected the attempted coup by opposition forces and have called on the country's population to do the same. Thousands of citizens accepted the call to protect the country from a U.S.-backed coup and marched on Tuesday towards the Mira Flores Presidential Palace to attend a rally held by the National Constituent Assembly. Venezuela's President Nicolas Maduro, in a tweet earlier in the day, said he spoke with the commanders of all the country's military defense and they manifested their full loyalty to the people, the constitution and the homeland. Venezuela's Defense Minister Vladimir Patrino, or Padrino, at a press conference, described the attempted coup as a cowardly terrorist act and stressed that opposition leader Juan Guaido and his right-wing allies tricked a small group of National Guards into supporting them. Mr. Guaido appeared in a video on social media early on Tuesday morning alongside opposition leader Leopoldo Lopez, asking the military and people to begin an uprising against the legitimate government of President Nicolas Maduro. Chilean authorities later confirmed that Leopoldo Lopez and his family had requested asylum at the Chilean embassy in Caracas. In Trinidad and Tobago, scores of Guaido supporters gathered at the Queen's Park Savannah, hoping that the wind of change will blow strongly. They all answered a call on social media to come out to show solidarity. <laughs> Venezuelan people want freedom. The Venezuelan people want something else for Venezuela. They want medicine, food. They want their country back to be able to live a decent and prosperous life, unlike what they're living now. And as far as these supporters are concerned, there is only one man for the job. I mean, he's the only one who has united the whole country in the 20 years of um, dictatorial regime. So he is the man. Solidarity in song and in their calls for Maduro out. Political leader of the movement for social justice, David Abdullah, is once again rejecting the position of the United States and the opposition in Venezuela as he reaffirms his party's support for Venezuela's president, Nicolas Maduro. He spoke on the matter today in light of the heightened tension in that country. The United States, together with right-wing elements within Venezuela, have been intent on regime change by any means. And what is happening now is simply another chapter, if you wish. The United States is, has no right to decide who should be the government of any other country. That is for the people of a country to decide.